But first, you want a challenge in life? Just get up in front of a bunch of people you don't know and try to make them laugh. That is a life of stand-up comedian, and one of the best in Maine is Karen Morgan. Her road to success in stand-up has been an unusual one. For one thing, Karen Morgan didn't start doing it until she was 40. For another, she is definitely from away, and her Georgia accent meant that she was never going to pass herself off as a down-east humorist. Let me go back to when you were growing up. Were you the funny kid in class? <laughs> I was not. I was not the funny kid. Because people ask how, when you get into comedy, were you the class clown? I was pretty serious. But um, I appreciated humor. I laughed at things. I laughed at other people in the class. But I was definitely, I was not the funny one. Were you the well-behaved young girl who got good grades? That was me. That was me. So you went to college? Majored in art. Yes. Did you know when you were in school what you wanted to do when you got out? <laughs> no. And, and I tell my kids this all the time. Nobody knows what they want to do. And if they think they know what they do want to do, they're wrong. Seven years after graduating from college, Karen Morgan enrolled in law school, working a job by day, taking classes at night. Her goal? To become a trial lawyer. I didn't want to be writing wills. Not that they're not important, but that or doing real estate law or anything like that. Everybody's got their own place, but I did not want to do those. In what turned out to be a nice touch for a future stand-up comic, Karen Morgan was sworn in to practice law in the actual small town courthouse in Georgia, where they shot the movie My Cousin Vinny. You graduated from law school six years ago. What have you been doing since? Studying for the bar. That's a lot of studying. You were practicing law. You were married. You were starting to raise a family. At what point did you start thinking, hmm, I would like to try my hand at stand-up comedy? Hmm, this is what I need in my life right now. Um, it was interesting because I had my kids, you know, three in a row really fast and literally just needed to get out of the house. That was more than, it was like I could take a photography class, I could take a cooking class, but I think my husband probably would have preferred I took the cooking class, but I took a comedy class with Tim Farrell. And it, it really did, it changed my life. I, I took it, I started into it for one reason, and then it ended up being obviously something totally different. What was it right from the start that, you know, scratched that itch for you that, that gave you something that you wanted and needed? I think, and, and you will ask any stand-up comedian, when, when you stand there and you, and you get the laugh, it is, it's, it's the most amazing thing. And then you just want to do it again. <laughs> I've gotten older, I've noticed that my magazine subscriptions have changed. I don't get People magazine anymore because I don't know any of the people in People. <laughs> Tim Farrell, the comedy coach whom you studied under, I know is big on having people tap into their own experiences. Of course. You make the make people laugh out of what you've got in your own life. Yeah, yeah. Was that did that come fairly easily for you? It, particularly at the time when I started with him, it was you know I had three babies and I was a full time mom trying to deal with three babies. So everything that I wrote was about being a mother and about sort of getting through the experience. And and you truly do have to laugh about it or you're going to start crying. And if people didn't laugh, you weren't going to be crushed <laughs> and go home and curl up in the fetal it's position. That, no, yeah, that it's huge. And yeah, but as as a mother. The priorities are different because as a parent, you're like, well, you know, what's the worst thing that can happen if I, if I bomb on stage? I'll, as you said, I just get in my car and go home, you know, it's, and try again another day. Do you remember the first evening that you got up and performed where it wasn't a class, where you were actually going out there <laughs> yeah. and trying to make people laugh? Yeah, so I took my husband with me and, and we went in and, and the people, the person in front of us was doing material that was just, it wasn't clean, it was not great, and it was just a little raunchy. And then I had to get up and do my mommy material and didn't go well, did, did not go well. And so we were walking back to the car and my husband said to me, well, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Starting out, she worked in this building in Portland, which housed a professional club, The Comedy Connection. Do you remember the dollar figure on the first paycheck you ever received oh, for doing stand-up? No. 
I'm sure it was so high. <laughs> or was it some place that just gave you uh, fried was, seafood and a was, couple of beers? It was probably some cash for parking or so. Here, we'll pay for your parking. I don't. I don't remember. That's a good question. Um, I know later on the the checks get bigger and, and you're, it's finally you realize, ooh. But then you start adding up all the hours and things you've done. You, it doesn't. You don't do this for the money. You just don't. Girls are just adult women in training, right? They have all the raw ingredients of adult women, disdain, <laughs> spite, <laughs> revenge, great intelligence, a few irrational thoughts. <laughs> you. But they haven't yet learned how to use their evil powers for good yet. Right? How many shows have you done now in all? I don't know, because I'm sporadic. I mean, I have friends that are road comics that work every single weekend. They go from club to club to club. And, and I don't because, and I have not throughout this past 18 years, because I've been raising my kids and I want to I want to be at their games and I wanted to be at their ski races and things like that. I live in Maine, uh, but I grew up in Georgia. My, go dogs, go dogs. My husband's from Boston, so our kids are bilingual. We're very proud. The most thrilling moment in Karen Morgan's comedy career may have come at a comedy festival when she was praised by a master of stand-up, the famously deadpan Stephen Wright. Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. Wright was a guy who kept to himself, didn't like to be touched, didn't like to be hugged. He came in and, and he came over to me and we were eating dinner in this kitchen and he said my entire set back to me and said, I loved it when you did this, I love this line, that's so great how you, how you put those things together. Like he analyzed my set and then two days later when after the thing was over with, we get, people are getting ready to leave and Stephen Wright gave me a big hug. <laughs> And, and Don Gavin was looking at me, he's like, he, I've never seen him hug anybody. So I'm like, that, that was it. I still glow from that. I'm still happy about that. There's a saying I've heard, you're not a writer until a professional writer says you're a writer. Right. I think it's the same thing in comedy and a lot of other lines of work. Oh, it was great hearing from her. I love knowing that her kids are bilingual. That is <laughs> fantastic. Good line, good line. I also loved the advice she had for her kids that because there is so much pressure to figure out what we want to do and figure out our career path and like where are we going to school and it's like you know what sometimes we just don't know yeah. and that's that's okay yeah and that uh, that's something that's fascinating about karen is that career path of going from trial lawyer well first art major right. in college to then seven years later going to law school becoming a trial lawyer and a good one and then stand-up comedy right it's nice to see all those acts in one life exactly Karen Morgan has shows coming up in Brunswick, Falmouth, Belfast, and Portsmouth, New Hampshire, all in the next month or so. We have information on those shows and her videos and more all in the 207 section of our News Center main website or our app.